Hello everyone, welcome back in Velvi. Um, let's continue with the Rolling Stock tour. Uh, as you can see right now, I'm not in the actual world. Well, I'm in the same world, but not in the actual map. Let's say now, this is the research center, and it is basically the place where we make the engines. Um, Imagine, you know, we just make them here, tweak them, update them. It's just a, a funny thing to place them inside a actual building that does serve as a kind of useful thing. Because we have like a couple standard parts uh, along the way that we actually use for building new ones. So it, it, has a, it has a purpose to building. Also we have like these little offices and so on. Uh, so yeah, I mean, mostly things we made during boring days, you know, where we really didn't felt like making uh, any progress on the map and just messing around. So you can see like little offices and so on. Like this used to be my office. You can see pretty nice with like a sneaky golf board. Um, then we have secret entrance to Joao's office. Uh, but yeah nothing that special you have like few commands here that we rarely use so yeah well just uh keep going with the tour so we did like uh type 98 yesterday oh uh, again uh sorry <laughs> so type 16 and then we have type 1 now for some odd reason she's not in the map yet so probably because we took her out to update so this is the new engine also re-updated then we have type 12 and type 10 so yeah it's type 1 also pacific it's actually the upgraded version of type 10 now um type 10 is still better well she didn't have any problems with overheating rear axles and so on but yeah so still a pretty modern and half streamlined engine and uh, also still preserved in the museum in Trenje, Belgium. So then type 7 we also saw yesterday, then type 91, which is small center, type 93, bigger center. So this is actually a 062 and this is actually a 080. So yeah. Uh, type 64, three editions, like, like I said, uh, 29, 26, and then we have SA01, uh, 060 center, also not from the National Railways, it's just a particular engine. So, yeah, and then we have the GWR from the Great Western Railway. Um, she's here because. Um, she was one of the first engines to be in Valve. Well, there was no name such as Valve, it was just train models by Greg Um uh, But she's still here as a, let's say, historic purpose. So yeah. Then, fuck. Stupid dog bark. Anyway. Uh, then we have the narrow gauge, or like meter gauge uh, things. Uh, well, this is a GR Metro. This is actually on 1.5 scale made for the WBC builds along with the coaches. Uh, so yeah, to, just uh, to help this uh, Victorian station grow a bit more in like you know, these kind of uh, details. But then we have this monstrosity of a steam tram. Now, um, it's not much to say about it, and it's just big and like a steam tram, but done with extended cylinders. So, yeah, made for like hauling big freights. Then we have the GR14 X class, like same as that one, but that's smaller, just because yeah, we felt like making it. But, oh, he's actually on that track instead of. Okay, interesting. Then we have diesel trams, first version, updated version. You can see there's like yeah some improvement. 
then some freight coaches, uh, some uh, box cars, also for all for the trams, and some pump cars, some uh, bicycle cars. Then an 040 center for industrial terrains, and with like a few. Uh, I don't know how these carriages are called, like you know, these things turn around to drop the stuff that's inside it. And then we have also a bigger shunter, it's also an 060, it's just also an industrial meter gauge engine. So then uh, I think we have seen all these steam engines uh, right now, it is. Well, let's go over to the actual running. Well, passenger coaches. Uh, K1 and 1, we've seen yesterday. Then we have freight cars, uh, though this is actually a red variant, which is later than the 50s, I think 60s, 70s or something. So it is basically this one. Uh, yeah, just green, standard Belgian green. So, yeah, it's like a nice little carriage. Also, uh, now I was thinking uh, of the braking variant, but it's in the map, so it's not here in the area, but we'll, we'll see it in a while. Um, then, it's this is a cooling car, actually, yeah, the people Belgian railways. So yeah, cooling car, to preserve, I don't know, food or other, other things that need to be cooled, let's say. Now let's go over to, actually, uh, I'm going back. Yes, I can move back. Oh, okay. This is other kind of running stock. Uh, we'll go to there like in a few minutes. So, for apart from the trains, we still have like some coaches for coal, along with the new variants. Because these are like old brown wooden, these are all with metal. Then we have other types of, you know, uh, brake. Uh, freight cars along with the brake car variant yeah dude, this one is like the one with little windows and i mean i already like the, the little thing it's makes it i don't know it has something special so then again of all wooden coal cars damn these are like a lot and then yeah some flatbeds and cars cars on freight cars to hold by the two type 64s so also all belgian made all these things oh and there's actually a wheelbarrow also yeah that's interesting i mean this is also rolling stock so we gotta review it right simple design made with like uh grindstone some trap doors and a collagen and a hopper that's quite funny uh, i don't know who made that maybe i did Maybe Joao did. I can't really tell. Oh, then here we have one of the car loaders like going down to be able to drive up, you know, uh, the next ones. Also, like little doors on the side. There are like clapped open. They can drive through the whole thing. Oh, these are already closed because they were like already loaded. So yeah, kind of makes sense. So yeah, now, uh, rolling stock from a different kind, these are cars and trucks, so little car design, uh, 4 wide, though on the train it's 3 wide, because otherwise we're gonna have problems, so just for like aesthetics, we just tweak it a little bit, but you know, we budget a little bit, budget, yeah, budgeting, so yeah, nothing that special, a few trucks, uh, along with like the older models, uh, and some different color, you know, just to make more variety of things. Uh, see a green one, then also these trucks, and this is one that's actually in the make by GPM Graphics now. It's, it's helping out. I mean, the core people are just me and Joel, but sometimes we have people making also little additions to the, to the map, so that's nice. Um, also, this is the well, the garage, let's say, so the place where we make the well, other people make cars. 
So it's again like a little research center, but instead of like making it somewhere away from the map, it's funny to make it actually in the map as part of yeah, the history. So it's an old garage of the 50s. Because, well, although Valve is like end, end 40s, a few things are from the beginning 50s, but it's difficult to find everything from like the same area. But I think it's plausible to you know, make things like this. So there we have it. Um, then we have the tram station or like tram depot here, which is also in the make. Because uh, it was previous, previously it was in this part, though we were like not that happy with this arrangement, so we decided to make. Because uh, also this one is fictional, uh, fiction, fictional. Uh, well, it's not real in any way, and this is a real place, so we decided you know, to really make it like it was. Um, so, also it's much bigger, we have also longer stores, a lot of garage to store the coaches and so on, so yeah, it's really better detail, better realism as well. So we still gonna do a lot of work on this area, because this is all going to be city. And then the tram station is going to be like the end of a city, and then we'll go over just into the fields. You know. But uh, that's all a bit of yeah, future uh, projects. Well, it's still for this season, but the timing is. I mean, we gotta schedule everything like properly, but it takes takes a while. So I think oh, steam tram. Yeah, we have it. Well, the thing is, steam trams here are like a little bit dead uh, they're put aside here but maybe we'll turn a few back into life in the countryside of Brubel of like with that bomb of time so yeah we're gonna see about it now I think we've seen every running stock we have even the cars even the wheelbarrow oh I know I do know we have like a motorcycle somewhere in one of the yeah here it is yeah, it's like a improvised motorcycle. It's also a pretty interesting design. So, or is it a bike? I think it's a bike because it's like a pedal on the chain. I think, I don't know. You can make it whatever you want. It's your imagination, right? So, uh, that was, I think, everything of drawing stuff we had. And if I forgot something, it, Probably isn't that important. So I think uh, we're going to stop this little tour here. So, uh, well, yeah. See you in the next one. And uh, in the meantime, just be, just be awesome.